What's going on YouTube? GSNOW8 here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about Houdini for the iOS 11.3.1. Yes, it has been released a few days ago and yes, I did not make a video on it at that time and the reason for that is pretty simple. It requires a developer account and that's the reason I did not make a video yet. So a lot of people asked me where is the video about it and I decided to make a video to clarify everything. So Abraham Masri, a developer in the jailbreak community, who you probably know about him, he developed Houdini, he developed the Topanga and and Saigon Jailbreak, he posted this on June 4, which is a screenshot of Houdini apparently running on iOS 12, if I see right in here, and then of course on June 5 he posted this, quote, Houdini Beta 3 for iOS 11 up to iOS 11.3.1, requires a developer account. Now, I was asked whether I'm going to make a video on that, and I said yes, but at that time I didn't see that it requires a developer account. So, if you navigate in here and you download the beta tree, it is indeed compatible with the iOS 11.3.1, .1, and I was indeed able to use it on my device since I do own a developer account because I am an iOS developer. Now, the problem is that the iOS developer account comes in different flavors. There is the free developer account that you get by signing up for an Apple ID, and of course, that can be used to sign with the um, you know City Impactor. It's still a developer account, but it is limited in the entitlements that it provides. And then, of course, you have the paid developer account, which is $99 per year. That is US dollars. So, yeah, that's the kind of the developer account that I have, and it's used in order to publish applications to the App Store and have multiple entitlements and so on. And this is the type of the account that the Houdini Beta 3 requires. Now, Houdini is some sort of semi jailbreak. It's not a jailbreak, but it allows you to customize your device and, you know, apply different icons and change the carrier name and do stuff and and so on. So it's pretty close to an actual jailbreak. You can install various packages. It's pretty dope. And if you take a look in here, it has a nice UI too. So you have sources and packages just like Cydia, but it's not Cydia. It doesn't contain Cydia. So it's something like a jailbreak, but not a jailbreak. But anyways, it's pretty useful since the Electra jailbreak is not out yet. We're waiting for a new exploit. If you take a look in here, it requires that developer account, which I dubbed many people have in the jailbreak community, because that's only used by people who are posting applications to the App Store or who are participating in the developer beta program and so on. Hence the reason I did not make a video on this. Anyways, if you do have a developer account that costs $99 per year, then you will be able to download the beta tree and simply sign it with the uh, CD Impactor. So yeah, there is also the enterprise uh, developer account that you can use, uh, and that is the kind of account that you find on the App Valley and on the Tweakbox and Cyrus installer and so on. This is how they sign their applications with enterprise developer accounts. And probably one of these sources already picked up Houdini Beta 3 or they will do that in the future, but I do not recommend downloading from such sources since an exploit is involved. And when an exploit is involved, the security is put at risk. Though I do trust some of these third-party app store providers, I do not trust them with anything that exploits my device. And yeah, that's probably for the best. Anyways, the reason this requires a developer certificate is because it uses the same exploit provided by I and beer. And of course, that's the exploit that is being currently used in the Electra, in the development version of the Electra that is not published by Coolstar right now. And that's the reason Coolstar said the initial version of the Electra, the developer version of the Electra, will require a developer account until they figure out a better way. But in the end, the Electra jailbreak will not require a paid developer account when it's finished. But anyways, you got the idea. Houdini and the Electra development for the 11.3.1 takes advantage of the same exploit by Iron Beer that has an entitlement that requires a paid developer account. This is why I believe that it wouldn't be very useful for the community right now since pretty much 90% of the people watching this channel probably do not have a developer account. Do I recommend you to purchase a developer account? Well, if you have the money, yes, even if you don't build applications. There are a few good things that you get. For example, you are not only signing applications for seven days, you are signing them for one year. So for example, if you have a developer account, a paid developer account, 
you can sign the Electra jailbreak and it will stay signed for one year, not seven days. So you remove that um, weekly resigning for your jailbreak tools or for your IPAs. That's one of the advantages and that's one of the reasons I bought mine. But if you do not have the money to spend, I would wait a little bit longer. Anyways, this is all you need to know about the Houdini Beta 3. Now, I appreciate Abraham Masri's effort on building this and updating his tool for the 11.3.1, but since it requires a developer account, it's not very usable for pretty much most of the people watching this channel. And that's the reason I didn't cover it earlier. Anyways, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.